We're going to be checking out some more Ben 10 toys as we have a look at the Ben 10. This is the Heat Blast Rocket Flyer. Blazing in from the heat blast bright planet Pyros, the rocket flyer is the perfect vehicle to navigate through the scorching hot air. Fierce planetary conditions make it ideal for the locals to spend their days putting the extreme in extreme sports. With twin rocket engines and launchers that fire burning molten missiles, this vehicle is a blast. Before we check out, no pun intended, this super hot vehicle, let's figure out how tall the figure is. So we'll put it next to Heat Blast. And Heat Blast is a, a little over five inches in height. Okay, okay, we'll also check the length of the vehicle. The rocket flyer from tip to tip is nine inches in length. The Heat Blast, to come included with the Heat Blast Rocket Flyer, is actually an exclusive. It's You can only get it in this release. And here we have the exclusive Heat Blast with Rocket Suit. It's essentially the same Heat Blast. In fact, I can bring in the one that we just recently looked at. Almost identical to one another, except for a new change in top, or the top torso. They've swapped out and they've remolded this additional armor uh, suit over top of it. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same figure. Right down to the fact that the ones, if I don't drop them here, the Heat Blast, the original single release, came with these fire attachments. You can do the exact same thing on this Heat Blast right here. Although it does look like, let me just show you what's happened here. I don't know if they've partially covered over the hole. Like, it doesn't look like it fits in as well as this one right here. The hole, I think, is just a little bit deeper, which seems almost impossible to believe that. But it does seem like it doesn't fit in just as well. To be fair, it doesn't come with it, but just to show you that it does fit. Uh, the one that came with this one, you can use with this one here. Uh, I guess there's really no other differences between the two. It's pretty much a straight comparison from... From a leg standpoint, arm standpoint, and most importantly, the head, nothing is actually different between the two, except for the torso piece here. So we've already done a, we've already had a look at that heat blast, so we won't do a, a lot of time on him. And I guess really we don't need to spend a lot of time looking at this particular heat blast because really it's the exact same figure. A nice translucent yellow makes up the majority of the plastic body here. They have gone in and painted panels. So for example, the legs, the thighs, the arms, and of course the torso all have these nice bright red panels of paint and delight covering over top of the the uh, slightly orangey yellow translucent plastic. I know, I know, we've been there, we've done that. There's not really much else to cover other than again, the suit jacket, the rocket suit, if you will, uh, is the only, real difference between this figure and the other figure. And it's nicely detailed, I have to admit. Not a whole lot of paint happening on the back. Kind of left it off all in its entirety. Most of the paint resides and lives in the front. Got some gold, some silver, and of course the Omnitrix logo there. A really nice looking figure. Posability on him. His head rotates all the way around. Despite for the fact that the suit may seem in, in, in the way, that's not the case at all. Arms rotate all the way around, a hinge out, bend at the elbow, a rotation in the forearm, and a rotation in the hand. No waist swivel. Uh, the legs, however, move forward and back. And if you want to make the legs go this way, it will revolve, will involve you rotating the leg this way around. And you can move the leg out this way. And a bend at the knee and lower rotation happening in the leg. So again, we've seen all this, we've done all this, and we did get ourselves the very cheap t-shirt as a result. Uh, except for the exclusive item, obviously, the price of admission here is getting the vehicle, the rocket flyer, and what a sight to be seen. 
As best as I can describe it, it kind of looks like a manta ray or a stingray, a very, very similar type shape. I did have to do a little bit, a little tiny bit, about that much assembly when I got this out of packaging. In fact, the only thing I really needed to do was I had to add these two back fins. Oop, there goes the missiles. Put the missiles back in there. We don't want to do that just yet. I had to put these two back little fin spikes, these little pieces right here. It does seem odd that I would have to do that. I guess the vehicle is halved. You can see a line basically from here all the way to the front, but the vehicle probably has been sandwiched. And maybe that's the reasoning why I had to put these in, because they are actually right on the line. That's the only, that's the only idea I can really come up with here. The vehicle is a very nice bright red. Couple that with some very nice little uh, cracked almost. It almost looks like molten lava. Little cracked areas of yellow, which look quite good as well. Uh, sticker application was required, which I've already gone ahead and done that too. I put the little lo logo on the back, uh, facing the right way. I double checked the packaging. <laughs> Want to make sure I did not put that on the wrong way. And there's also this sticker here that says Energize. I also assumed that the way that heat blast sits in it that this was likely gonna be facing this way, and I think that is correct as well. So one sticker, two stickers, and that's it. That's all she wrote. I'll discuss the missiles immediately because they are hair triggers. These little buttons right here on the side fire the missiles on either side of the rocket flyer. Simply just press the button, boom, bazinga, and those are the missiles firing off. If you're not careful, those could shoot across the room behind the couch. You won't find them for years until the one day you've come back as an 18 year old going off to college. Mom's packing up the box of books and other stuff that she was going to want you to take with you. And sure enough, those will be the fire, the flyers missiles inside there. And you believe you're like, wow, I didn't realize I forgot all about those. And there goes the missiles. Speaking of which, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me go grab them. The rest of the review would have easily gone forward without the missiles, but I just wanted to pick them up so I could just show you what they look like. They almost do look like little fireballs, if you will, with a very long stem that's going to fit into the slot. In fact, let me just show you right here, a little spring on the inside. You've seen how missiles work. I'm not bringing anything new to the table, I, I suppose. i just fit those into place. I just pray that we don't actually hit them again, because I don't want them firing across the room. I certainly don't want them hitting me in the face. As for the vehicle itself, it does feel relatively light, but uh, it does feel of a good quality plastic. You've got two rear wheels, one front wheel, that does allow the vehicle to roll. And actually, it does roll fairly well. Uh, you've also got some additional translucent blue plastic on the front, the very small section here, as well as the top of the cockpit. So that's a little nice breakup of color. But I gotta admit the colors are very nice, bright, and vibrant. Let's go ahead and put heat blast inside the rocket flyer. And for that, I'm just gonna lift up the cockpit like so. You would have th thought immediately that heat blast would sit like this. Well, he hasn't nearly the clearance to fit inside like that. So according to the instructions, you actually have to lay him down. And he just you just sort of slide him in there. Although I have to say his feet, the nature of how big his feet are, they are a little tricky, I have to admit, to get in there. You have to kind of bend everything. There we go. The term comfortable fit probably would not apply for the heat blast who's now been lodged inside the rocket flyer. Luckily, the canopy does close. There goes one of the missiles again, and he does stay inside. Um, I don't know if you could actually take other figures uh, and fit them in there, so I'm gonna see here. Obviously, it would have to be a smaller figure. You can simply just take any Ben 10 figure. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I'll just get him to stand, and we'll grab little little Ben. We'll slide him in there as well. He obviously fits in there a little easier. He doesn't move around either, so I guess he could technically fit another figure in there. Although I suppose it makes more sense to have heat blast in there than anything else. Sorry, Ben. We'll just kind of have you move on your way. 
Overall, nice looking vehicle. Coloring is very vibrant. It's so few and far between that we get vehicles nowadays. It's luckily, luckily for us, uh, Playmates is still releasing not only a whole ton of figures for Ben 10, but we're also getting some pretty cool vehicles in the process as well. Luckily as well, for those who have already picked up a Heat Blast, you're not simply getting the same figure again packaged here with the Rocket Flyer. I like that they have tweaked him slightly, that he does vary from the singular release that we've already looked at in a previous video. This one's got some nice colorings to it. It's got some nice play value with firing missiles, which firing missiles seems so far off for a lot of toy lines too. A lot of companies just don't do firing missiles anymore. Luckily, Playmates has delivered here with the Rocket Flyer. Again, some nice coloring, nice play value. The fact that you can fit him in the way that you do, sort of laying him down, sort of crunching him together, is a little bit more on the awkward side, but at least he does fit in the vehicle. Probably not the way I would have done it, but still fits very well and snug, I guess is the best word to describe it, inside the Rocket Flyer. If you are interested in picking this up for yourself, it's currently available in retail stores and some toy stores as well. Today we were having a look at the Playmates Toys Ben 10 Heat Blast Rocket Flyer. Want to check out some more Ben 10 figure reviews? Head over to my playlist. A little segue there, a little plugged segue. Head over to my playlist called Ben 10 Reviews. You can have a look at everything I've ever done on this channel. And don't worry, we're going to have some more Ben 10 Reviews coming your way as well. We're going to have a look at a couple more things, so stay tuned for those. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. And as I've started to mention in these videos, I used to say always make sure you turn on that bell notification, but sometimes that doesn't even work so that you guys are aware of the new content that I'm putting up on a regular basis. So what I would encourage that you do at the end of every vid video re review that you guys watch on this channel, head over to my main page and click on the section that says videos. Scroll down and see if there's anything that you may have missed. That's probably your best route to make sure that there's nothing that you may have missed that I maybe have already previously uploaded. Check out those videos and feel free to leave a comment in those videos. And as for new videos, of course, we're going to have a whole bunch of new stuff coming your way. So stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. See you next time.